he knows if he shows his face, he's going to get a face full of glaive. <laughs> so this season's off to a great start. Despite the cold opening for otherwise, it's been a truly wonderful kickoff for the new season. Clipcraft has been live for a little over a month, but it's been hard to make videos when playing in this sandbox of experimental storytelling is just too much fun. But we're here. I'll do my best to explain what Clipcraft is for those unaware while I give y'all a tour of my home here in town. There's quite a few traits players tend to share here in Clubcraft. We're collectors. Storage rooms are a must. Don't mind my little arcana alcove here in the lower floor, we'll come back to that. I got my calendar here next to my office doors. This here was the first blade I bought from another player on the server. In here we have a little makeshift office bedroom combo. It's fine, I'll build a nicer bedroom eventually. A Minecraft accurate globe, yeah, cause we all know that in Minecraft the world is... Uh, you know, now that I think about it, I, I'd rather not talk about that at the top of episode one. Clubcraft is about friends doing things together more so than anything else. I know what happens in Clubcraft if bathrooms aren't built, so there's that. Uh, over here we have our living room with an auto playing jukebox. And out here we have our small balcony with a little breakfast bar. Uh, up top there is also a tiny third floor, but I haven't quite finished up there yet. Clubcraft always has a bunch of custom mechanics. This season's no different, but this time they're being added to the server as Rubicon is built up. That's the name of the town here. Down here we have my collection unit for the storage network. We drop the backpack on here and bam, it's all sorted for us. Here in Clubcraft we also like to build big, and those custom mechanics mentioned earlier require resources, so I'm gonna go collect literal tons of ore, and we'll see y'all then. 2,000 ore. Surprisingly, it wasn't bad to grind out either. Uh, let me sort this. So we have 1,500 or so copper, a bunch of coal, some redstone, lapis, diamonds, iron, a little bit of everything. Okay, this next part is gonna go really fast, so go ahead and skip to 521 if you need to avoid the flashing images. Otherwise, enjoy.
you're not gonna believe this. We got 16 and a half thousand copper. What is that? Something like 250 stacks? That's insane. We also got about a thousand coal and a bit of everything else. Uh, overall, I'm quite pleased. Uh, we actually had a hidden fifth level of fortune uh, thanks to our cloak and it shows. I've been busy around Sanctuary here. That's this place, by the way. I got some infrastructure set up to help with what I need. I usually hit up top to collect emeralds from my iron farm, which totally makes sense. Don't worry about it. And I've been buying of glass. Easy Villagers truly lives up to its name. Unfortunately, I can't get ink from villagers, so I gotta collect it the old-fashioned way. I definitely need a decent amount of black glass for this build, but I needn't get greedy. Okay, so I realize I might have hunted a few more than I remembered, but let's talk about lore. This wouldn't be Clubcraft if there wasn't strange occurrences happening, so I'm gonna let y'all enjoy a clip of some of the highlights from one of those occurrences while I get back to building Sanctuary here. See you in a few. Hey, so... You guys know how I said I would keep an eye on the queue? Mm, yeah, what about? It, it's changed. It, it opened up. It, and, and it kind of exploded around itself a little. Um, what? Excuse me, what? Well, that's not good. It, it opened up. Come over, Ooh. uh, come over. It's easier to show you. Whoa. It oh. opened up. Whoa. Um. Right, hmm. okay. I see what you're saying. Um, why is the question? I don't know. I was just sitting here and then... All of a sudden, pop goes weasel, and now it's open. I think there's a cat stuck in there. Most likely. Although this is glass, I can't... Was there any color inside? Doesn't look like the it. The color was inside last time. The glass wasn't actually colored. They're gone. Kind of melded and warped as it opened. Okay, well... Right. So, the bottom, I guess that's supposed to represent the nether, based on the aesthetic of it. The top is... Uh, I'm not really sure, so... But, presumably, it's another place to go to. What about... The front and the back? And the sides? What? I don't... They're now a part of the glass rather than inside. I don't like those implications. What if a this was holding phone. something what? in? It, that doesn't make any sense. If it was trying to keep something in, it wouldn't have just opened. But think about it. Someone Look, would have if... had to have opened it. What is that sound? Happening. I don't what? know. Push up one. Hearing things. Do you all hear it as well? Of course we hear. My bones be rattling. <laughs> Hello? I don't like the sound of Murmurs turn to groans. Oh. Okay. I don't like that. Uh Hello? As things end, new things begin. Something's not right. Huh. Much as it pain me, pains me to say, we will stay to find out what's going on. Yeah, now I'm interested. I'm, <laughs> I'm a nervous. I, I really am that. sorry to disturb you. Not a whole lot goes on, but... Know. This graveyard seems to have been disrupted by this cube here. Not gonna lie, I kinda thought it was my fault. I did go digging in those over there. No, we should not disturb the soil around them. It... there's no reason to not disturb it. It's already been disturbed. The orders are already off balance. We 
they just really dislike you. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you, you guys, you, you got this. You got this. He's got, he's very durable. I don't know why, but he's. There nice. we go. Hey, let's go. Problem solved. So they learned a little about the world, and now we're off exploring the Aether. I wanted to show off some of the magic we're playing with this season. Here's my collection of legendary spells, the rarest available tier of spell. I'm building up a collection because I'm working on opening a shop where players can come in and get any scroll they desire, for the right price of course. The mod is Iron Spells and Spellbooks, and it's got so many toys for us to play with. Here's the rest of my collection so far. Don't worry, we'll dive way deeper into magic once we open the House of Wayward Scrolls, which is happening sooner than you may think. As you can see, I've been busy down here getting the arrival point of Sanctuary ready, and I'll show it all off next episode once it's done. It's been a blast getting back to crafting with friends and scattering some lore-filled breadcrumbs to set us on our way. I can't wait to see where we go this time. By the way, you can become a member of the official Clubcraft Discord server with the link in the description. Come piece the mysteries together with us as we weave a story together. You can also support Clubcraft there to help keep the server going. Thank you for joining me on this first episode of the new series. I've already got big plans for the next one, and I'll see you all then.